Hey, what's up guys? Axionerv here bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be building this medieval bastion. Uh, generally, or not generally, historically bastions were um, big round defensive structures that were on castles. Uh, yeah, so I try to recreate this look. Um, it looks uh, pretty darn defensive. And it's way, way, uh, way different than my usual towers. Uh, less than mill, but it's uh, very similar to that. So, kind of like it. It's it's different, and it uh, sort of adds something different to this. So, we're gonna build that today. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Well, let's do it right here. First, we're going to start with the walls, and they are five blocks long. So. It's gonna lay out a uh, floor plan here with a wood block in the middle, and then a diagonal block of wood, and then five more again. Replace the middle like so, and we just repeat this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Mouse, mouse, you're going crazy on me. Go to, to uh the wood the floor. So if you uh caught my uh video of my tour of my city, Elysium, you will see that I use this um type of tower near my gate. Uh, and that was just to end the wall right there. Because it was a big cliff, so I don't want to drag the wall down, that would be weird. <laughs> so just throw a tower on the end, and it fixes that problem. And yeah, let's bring these walls up. These go up uh, 11 blocks, I believe. You can make it taller if you want. Uh, probably be a good idea. Because right now, in the flooring underneath this, uh, the floor should end uh, right here. For, uh, that's the floor, so the last bottom floor is like weirdly small so that's up to you so we're gonna bring these up three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and uh, yeah uh, I'll just skip through uh, building up all the walls so I'll see you guys in okay so we finished that part now we're gonna build this uh, layer on the bottom grab that and yeah, so that's just three blocks high of cobblestone. Uh, spaced every other block. And then this is wood. Three blocks as well, right here. And then once again, cobblestone. Darn it. Freaking mouse, you pissed me off. And we have a stair on top of each of these. Oh, with a stair facing towards the log block right here in this corner. And once again, all of these. And this is all the way around, but uh, I'll just skip through the other parts, so you're not missing much. Uh, for the front is just a double slab of stone with a cobblestone stair on top of that. Pretty much done <laughs> with the edging right here. Let me grab a fence. Uh, the only missing is two fence blocks around here. I'll we'll do the top in a bit, but yeah, uh, we'll just work on that now. Uh, now for the top. Let's see, how did I do this? Okay. For the top, you're going to need a block like so. And you just make a just outline all the way around. Just one block wide. Now, I'm just using stone bricks for now, because it's easier to have to switch between stone bricks and the double slabs. So, I'm just doing this. Delete you. Yeah. Okay. Like that, and then we'll have cobblestone stairs once again, and we're gonna put two right here, and we'll leave this space empty for now. And for these two, we're gonna put them 
upside down against the uh, cobble or the stone brick wall. Although we could do that. Well, we'll just stick with that then. So face them towards the tree instead. Or the tree block, I mean. So will match the uh, the bottom. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, sorry. Ah, dang it. I keep, <laughs> I keep forgetting. Okay. For this part, we're going to need two log blocks and an upside down wooden stair block. Like so. And that'll look uh, like that. Now for these in-between blocks or double slabs, uh, we're gonna put them right here. So every other block and then these two diagonal are gonna be stone slabs. So we'll just do that real quick. Okay, now for the top, our uh, uh, stone brick slabs, and we're going to put them on these, and then those two, and once again, these. So the two diagonals, and then never their block on the f flat walls. Like so, and there's the top, pretty much done. Now, for the flooring, I'm going to have a floor in right here. Uh, I've just chose to do this with uh, stone bricks. Although it might look nice with uh, with wood to sort of give it a different feel or a variety of stuff. And if you don't like these wooden blocks, you can always replace them with stone bricks. Because since we made our cobblestone stairs face the wood, you won't be able to see the bricks. You won't be able to see these either, because we'll have that wood right there. So, uh, then we can do that. Yeah, so it looks nice and uniform. Put some torches up. So yeah, it's about the only thing, the only bad thing about this, because you can't put a torch on those slabs, so you gotta put them like, right in your way. Um, so far, that's covered most of this. You can also put uh, fence blocks, or fences uh, up at the top, like so. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, oh, okay. For the inside, we're gonna fall down here, and let's see, you're gonna make a roof from three, one, two, three. Okay. So four down. Just create a floor, and once again, you can use whatever block you want. And this will be just a, uh, it's just a random floor. <laughs> Whatever you want to put in here. I would say you can do some arrow slits, but yeah, they go right there. And it's actually never mind. I forgot to change my style. Just just before I f uh, started recording. Uh, f for the arrow slits, you're gonna take uh, stone brick stairs, place a regular one facing the log and upside down one right above it. Same thing on this side. And you got arrow slits. And we'll put some slabs on the bottom so you can walk up and yeah. Got a nice little slit right there. And we can go down one more floor. Count two and three. Put a floor in. Yeah, like I said a while ago, this bottom floor is odd. And you get uh, like two high walls. Of course, you could always go down, build a floor. That'd probably be a lot easier. And you have three high walls, but then again, you, s you still can't really do anything because you have these cobblestone pieces in your way. So let's go ahead and put in some more arrow slits. And you can do this all the way around if you want. Obviously, if you're going to have this connected to a wall, uh, let's say right here, then yeah, you won't have arrow slits right there. So, other than that, that's that's what it looks like from the outside. So it looks pretty nice. And of course, 
can put a catapult on there if you want, like I had in my video. Uh, and I'll do a tutorial on this some other time, so I figure out other stuff to put on it. I don't know. But yeah, so this is the finished one, uh, without those added ones. Like that. Totally did that in the wrong place, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, I just need to stop clicking. So, yeah, why is there not one right here? There should be. I'll put one in anyway. Yeah, there you go, that's what the finished one looks like. Looks pretty badass. Other than that, it's pretty much it for your tower tutorial. Not much else to add. Now we can see what this looks like with uh, spruce wood. Instead of, uh... I'm gonna need that. Huh, so we'll need these corners. We can add flooring in though. Right there. There, and that's not going to be a hole because that'll be fixed. Okay. And right there. Okay. Let's see what this looks like with wood. Once I get off this out of the way. floats your boat if you like this look better than the stone. I think it looks nice. Definitely different than a just plain old stone that adds a different variety to it. Of course you'll have these uh, blocks in your way. I wonder what it'll look like if we replace them. Let's, let's see. This is the finished side. Oh, yeah, you'll see flooring right there. That looks weird. Uh, yeah, you'll just have to uh, bite the bullet, I guess, if you want the uh, wood flooring. You can put in a pattern, though, if you wanted. Like, we could. Not a pattern, but maybe a bordering. That might look better. Let's try that out. That looks pretty cool. Kinda like that. Might stick with this. Oh yeah, sure. That is, uh, that's it for now. Don't forget to light it up on the inside or else you get bats. I'm pretty sure I have some bats in there now. Those little guys piss me off. I had a whole bat massacre before you, before you joined me here in this recording. Killed them all in that tower. Friggin' bats. I wish they would change the spawning rates on creative. Because they're. They are freaking. Oh, God, they're so annoying. But yeah, okay, so <laughs> that's the finished tower. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite if you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other suggestions, bleh, if you have any suggestions for me to build. Just leave them in the comments. I'll uh, make a video. Other than that, uh, see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.